Wow, welcome everyone. Today we have a new Zinless Zone Zero resource and also Danny guide. Now, if you look behind me, I have collected over 10 pages of different methods which are energy free that you can be getting more Dannys in the game, including repeatable methods, different events, and also different ways of getting more Danny. And here I have made a summary and also a checklist for you guys to have a look. And we have estimated and calculated how much free Danny you can get every month and what are the resources and other ways you can get this. There's also some sizable amount you can get for one time reward, up to close to 2 million Dannys by using those two methods. And if you combine all the Dannys together, you can get over 5 million Dannys this way. And just to show you guys in game, I have gotten 3 million Dannys this way without spending any energies in the game to farm Dannys. There's also a second part which I want to talk about when and also how you want to use the convenience store. Because at the moment, the convenience store is actually a big scam. So I haven't bought anything on the convenience store and I know this has just reset for the first week. And I want to give you guys additional information and also some Excel calculations on the convenience store and what you can buy and also how you want to use those once you have more Dennis. Now before we come over to our notes, you might be wondering, hey Matt, why do you need so much Dennis? And if you haven't seen our preparation guide for Zhu Yuan, you can see that all the leveling up just to level 50 and also to rank 7 of the skills will cost 1.3 million dennies. And it could cost over 2 million dennies to just get one character close to level 60. And most of my characters are still level 50. And what this means is you actually need a lot more dennies in the game. And this will become a very big resource factor for most of us as we play 1-2 to two weeks into the game. And in the first part, I'll go through you guys step by step all the best ways of getting resource-free dennies that does not cost energy. And one of the biggest factors we want to look at is going to be the hunt and also the hollow zero shops. Now I know some of you might have heard of this and you might have seen this. If you come over here to this NPC, there will be dennies that can be purchased. And you can see that I have purchased some of those dennies. I have purchased 300,000 of the dennies with my spare resource. There's also 300,000 more that needs to be purchased at the end of the month and I do plan to purchase this if I have enough for both of the summons and also for the disk drives. So those are some of the quickest ways to get monthly dennies. And this can give you up to 600,000 monthly dennies without spending any energy. Now the currencies for those two shops are coming from the Hollow Zero and also coming from the Weekly Hound and also Senior Defense. And we usually have enough for multiple items coming from those shops. Now because we're already here, let's quickly come over to the senior defense. This has two versions. The version that is resettable is on top of here. You can see this will be having 9 days to go before the reset. There's also a permanent version where you can get 450 of the S rank clears with a lot of dennies. So those are some of the rewards we should be looking for. And you, have, you can see I haven't got S rank clears over here because I was too busy making the videos. So as a summary, those will provide us 450 one-time reward for the permanent clear. And if you're considering to clear the periodic clear, which can be a little hard, this can provide 720 polychromes and also 300,000 or 315,000 of the dennies from the senior defense. Now to be honest guys, I don't expect any of us that's free to play to get that much of the freebies on the first release. Maybe after Zuguan for the second team, you can start to look maybe to get 100,000 or maybe to clear a few different levels from level 11 to level 13 or maybe level 14. After that, the floor level 15 to level 17 are really, really difficult. Now, on the right side of my character, we have Hollow Zero. Hollow Zero is surprisingly good for getting a lot of Dennis. Just by leveling up your license, you get 100,000 Dennis per 10 level. And together, you'll get over 600,000 dennies, not only coming from the Hollow Zero leveling, and also the weekly commissions, and also some bonus rewards. Now, there is also a special theme in the Hollow Zero, that if we look closely, as you clear the previous levels without spending any energy, you can get additional currencies and also investigation points together with dennies. This is a good factor, because you can do this multiple times when you have the free time. And this is why you can hear the players who are doing speedruns that is focusing on clear the regular reward for, opt for some of those resource-free currencies. 
and this can be something interesting we talk about at the end of the video if you still want more resource. Now as we follow over, come over to this side, there is the weekly hunt and what I want to show you guys is the weekly hunt does not provide you with a majority of dennies, only 2500. But if you look on the rewards over here, you get 60,000 or 70,000 of the dennies combined by coming from those weekly rewards. And because this is weekly, this is actually pretty sizable over the period of four weeks for a month. So those are the amount of dennies you can get by completing the weekly missions on the weekly hunt. Now, so we continue to progress forward. And if you're missing anything, we have the notes available for you guys to keep track of everything. So there are a lot of daily dennies you can collect. And this is actually the biggest income for additional dennies. So let me show you guys over here. If I come over to my bamboo over here and, you know, here I got 200,000, uh, 20,000 dennies, not 200,000. Here we got 20,000 dennies. And as you insert the characters, you get a little bit of character resource. You also get additional dennies. And this is up to 26,000 dennies every day. So this combined with additional clients with a customer request of selecting a video type. And if you get this correctly, you get about 12,000 dennies daily. So this is actually a really sizable amount. You should be collecting regularly every day and this will actually give you a lot of resource. Together with going for the Doggy Scratchies, you can get anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 to 8,888 dennies. And this might seem very little, right? But once you see how much this is combined at the end of the month, this actually is over 1 million dennies just by doing those daily rewards. Now, as we keep going, you can see that you can get 3,000 dennies by doing the daily commissions. And this is pretty straightforward. The moment you log into the game, you get those rewards. And they are over 300,000 dennies as you do the premiers and also the trials. So let me show you guys over here. So as you come onto the game, you will get additional dennies over here. And as you complete the premiers, you can see there are dennies and also dennies at the end of the trials and also additional dennies in each of the trials and also each of the premiers. Now, because those are one-time reward, as you collect those, you might sit on a lot of dennies. And very soon we we'll talk about how to spin those correctly. Now, as we come back into the room, one thing I do want to highlight and also share with you guys is actually the amount of additional freebies that is available in the game. So notice here, I have completed all the three stars of those challenges. But if you look closely, there are chests and also mini cargoes that I have not collected that contains Danny and also polychromes. So even if you have collected all three of the stars, you should be on the lookout for additional loots that you have missed in the game. And this means if you go back in the game and find those loots, this will give you additional rewards, including additional dennies. Now, at the same time, similar to the Hollow Zero, if you go to the exploration and we're looking to any exploration that has additional rewards, so notice this one I haven't cleared fully. And here we have about some polychromes and also additional exploration reward. And this one, even though I have gotten three stars, there are still rewards available inside. And this can be something useful if you're looking for any ways of getting energy free. Notice this one, I collected everything, but this one, I still have loose to be collected. Now, one of the biggest one-time way to earn additional dennies is actually to clear the story as much as you can. As you clear through the story, you will be getting 10,000 dennies on the easy mode and then additional 12,000 dennies on the hard mode. And because there's over 50 different stories and also hard difficulties, you can easily get over 500 dennies one time by clearing those stories and also challenge mode. Now, as we keep going, I want to show you guys another way of getting more dennies. So here, if we come over to the currency shop and if you go into the signal shop, you can see that on the fading signal, there is a discounted version of the dennies that can be purchased. So if I have a look over here, I can purchase 80 of those. And this will give me 480,000 dennies if I'm short on currencies. And currently, I haven't purchased those because I have been purchasing those chips and also saving a little bit for the next banner. But once I start summoning, I usually have a lot of those currencies stocked up. And the best buy out of this one, if you're short on dennies, is definitely going to be this one with 400,000, 480,000 of dennies that is available. And you can see I have bought the summons and I have bought some of the chips for my Ellen and also for Zurian to come. And if I'm short on Dennis, I'll come over here for additional rewards. Now, during this time, it is probably not worth it, guys, to buy the unlimited Dennis because those does not give you the best value compared to the other discounted ones. 
Now, there are also other ways of getting free dailies and also resources, including the daily login. So you can see as I log in to the website daily on the official website, as I check in, you can get additional freebies. Together with additional rewards coming from different quests and also different rewards, like the pet quest, we actually got 300,000 dennies just by doing five stages of the pet quest, which is pretty sizable. And finally, if you play the character trials, I know this is something I'm sure most of you have heard, and in case you have missed, if you come over here to the character trials, if you click on different characters, they will give you additional resources. Not only Ellen give you additional resources for trying her, you can use the demos to try other characters for additional resources over here. And this is actually every 21 days. It's not a lot, but we're counting everything. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is the battle pass. The battle pass is every period of the patch, and it's about 42 days. And over those 42 days on the free battle pass, you can get up to 300,000 dennies this way. And I have just counted this and make sure you guys remind yourself of this as you count for additional dennies each of the month. Now, after all the listing of free dennies, you can of course spend 100 energy to get over 100,000 dennies. But this is not going to be the best way of spending your energy. If you can get so much dennies like me in the game, you will never find yourself to having to spend energy. And of course, we'll talk about the traps and also everything related to the convenience store. So as a quick summary, I have converted everything from monthly, from weekly, and also daily into monthly. And by adding everything I just mentioned to you guys, we can be getting over 3.7 million free dennies if you look at all those methods each of the month. And this is how I got a lot of dennies. And if you're looking for one-time permanent rewards, those are some of the best ways of getting over 1.8 million dennies in the game without spending any energy. Now, for those of you guys that have a little free time and want to farm repetitively without spending energy, running Hollow Zero with repetitive regular rewards can be a good method. Now, I haven't had time to try this, so what you're doing is you're coming over to Hollow Zero and you're basically running all the versions of the Hollow Zero after getting your capped off resource gain. And this can still give you some additional resource if you have the spare time. And because I've been too busy making videos, I haven't tried this personally myself. If you guys have the calculation to see how much dennies and also resources you can make every hour, maybe let me know in the comments below so we can do additional calculations of some free resource and also free loot in the game without spending energy. Now coming over to our second part, I want to come over to the convenience store. If you guys are like me, you have stocked up a lot of dennies and you know some of you might not know what to do with it. If you come over to the convenience store, you see a lot of items you can be buying with dennies. And you might be like, hey, I need this and I need that. But all of those are baits. <laughs> so just as a quick summary, I want to come over to this Reddit post. This is from Turret. And I think he made a really simple quick Excel to show you the values of those items at the character level 30. So here he's not at level 40 yet. And after doing some calculations, he has determined all of the items in the shop are not worth it. So compared to actually farming those items by spending energy, if you actually buy those items with Denny and then spend energy to farm more Denny's, this is actually not worth it. So for most of us, or 90% of us who does not have additional dennies, or even if you have a few million dennies, I do not recommend buying anything in the convenience store until you have all your characters to level 60, all your skills maxed or to the point you're happy with. So even though I have a lot of dennies saved up and I have a lot of characters that are level 40, level 50, and I do plan to level even more characters with Zugan to come, I will not be buying any of the things in the convenience store. So you might be wondering, why did the developers make this particular feature? And why do you want to use this? This is a Danny sync. So this is potentially usable for players after six months into the game, when you just have way too many Dannys and your characters are maxed out. And this is when you're getting Dannys and you don't know what to do with them. And you can convert those into resource that you wanted. But before this, guys, if you're actually buying those with Dennis and finding your shop short on Dennis and spending energy to get Dennis, what's going to happen is this is a terrible trade off. And you do not want to buy anything in the convenience store until you have plenty full of Dennis and you no longer need those to level characters or to level weapons or to level other items like the describes. Now, in the future, I'll do a more detailed calculation after I reach level 50. 
to give you guys the best value for Denny's if you still want to buy from the convenience store, which of the items will be the best buy and the reasons behind it. So for now guys, if you're planning to go to the convenience store, just keep in mind, it is actually much cheaper to farm those items with your energy. But the only case you want to buy from those items is that you have a lot of Denny's, you don't have energy, and you're just missing one or two pieces. And this is when you might be buying those just for the convenience and instead of waiting, you get a little speed ahead of the time. Now, before we finish, it is possible, guys, that most of us are not going to get all the resource coming from the senior defense, but that is okay. There's still a lot of more free monthly rewards and also one-time rewards you can get in the game. And it's important we have those checklists and also reminders to know what to do weekly, what to do daily, and also what to do monthly to get most of those free resources and without spending any energies in the game. Now, similar to all the videos, if you want to follow the notes, those will be available in the links below. And if you find my videos helpful and you want to see more future videos for ZZZ and also other games to come, make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep the notification on for the latest content.